Welcome everybody, episode 10 already on Rocksteady on the road in Croatia. Last episode we took an epic speedboat ride to a bunker complex. In this episode we will continue that day trip and after this boat ride we had some food and we made our way to a nuclear bomb shelter. This road was terrible to drive i can tell you that my van was not happy with it but i really had to visit this place so i closed my eyes and just stepped on the gas and we made sure at least we arrived safe if the van was a little bit damaged that's the way it is Road here. Getting there. I think from here we have to walk the last part to the bunker. So let's go, yeah. Yeah, the things you do for content. I don't know if you can uh, get a good light on this, yo. Nicely scratched all the way. Very beautiful. Yeah. From the front to the back. Oh yeah. Oh well, it's a working fan, I always say, and uh, making content for you guys is also a little bit work. So I do think uh, at one point it's gonna need a uh, new paint. <laughs> but uh, bunkers. But it's a long way up. Yeah. Yes. This is a steep climb. This is not what I had expected. I think Yo, she's a spider, or she just likes to dance. Yeah, you're so full of energy that you're dancing. Should be almost there. No, that's fucking hey. Why did I want to see a nuclear bunker? Fuck my life. So, after a steep climb, came across the first bunker. Here you see a position. Probably would have been something like flak. Real nice view on the island. And here, really happy with this one. Cute, cute little one. Super cool. One piece metal. Would have had machine guns on all sides. Really epic. I saw one before on the other part of the island. Unfortunately, that one I could not get in. This one. Pretty much the same story, I must say. You have to get in from the bottom and there's a ladder. But yes, first bunk is from this side. To be honest, I had hoped the main entrance would be here because we just had a decent walk up. But I'm really sorry, Yolanda. Mm -hmm. This is not the main entrance, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. So we have to go down, back to the car, at least that's easy. And then the main entrance would be on a lower part of this mountain. At least that's an easier walk than this. So, we'll continue. I've told Bas a few times that I've missed going to the gym. Since then, he takes me on these ridiculous walks to bunkers. We had a pretty heavy uphill walk, 38 degrees, we're soaking wet. I will never complain 
about missing the gym again. So, we just took the wrong way, as you probably heard from Yolanda. But uh, here we are. Beautiful Rocksteady van. Damage from driving here, but that's okay. Because look where we are standing over there. Let's go, yo. Nuclear puncture. It's so close. Yeah. That Fuck. whole way up. Plus for nothing. Yeah, for a small bunker. <laughs> this is not a small bunker. There are a lot of flies. Yeah. We'll be faster. Mm hmm. So, this actually is the main entrance to this complex. Mm -hmm. This is here is the ventilation. Good. Can I have a flashlight? I can my other lamp there. Come here, bud. So, there is no more flies here. I can my other lamp here. Can you take this one? Thank you. So. We are in a nuclear, well, shelter. Yes. This just shows the, the crazy mind of a dictator. All ventilation. Uh, I already like this. Come in, maybe. This. ventilation here so uh, just a rough guess up there is where some our oxygen tanks would have been and yeah uh, leading two ways left right because well I guess for a nuclear bomb you want to go deep so somewhere you have to go down still gonna check it out here a bit Oh, look at it. showers. <coughs> Great showers. And more, more. There's more everywhere. This place is nuts. <laughs>
Big door. Same door as we've seen in the other bunkers. But apparently this one uh, was nuclear bomb proof. I guess the only thing that makes it nuclear bomb proof would be that it goes way deeper than the ventilation system. Uh, where fresh air would be able to run on itself without getting oxygen from outside. Because of course then you would get the nuclear waste inside. So that way it could have run for a longer time. Shelter, right? I don't think so. Oh, oh yeah, of course, it's already a very nice. Oh. <laughs> we get spoiled in Croatia. Second one. Second one there, again, just random storage room. Nothing in there. Example um, the small bunker we've seen before, which is on top. This, for example, would have been uh, the way towards the bunker defensive position. And the door, just like in the other bunkers, mechanics have been removed. Souvenir hunters. This doesn't stop, it's one straight line. Mad. Keep, keep going. 
This is really fresh here. What can you do with it? No, I don't care. Just bang the stairs up. Some, some change. Talking about stairs. Let's go. Fuck. Crazy, eh? Yeah, it's really weird. This is not for the lazy people over here. Trust me. We uh, we get our steps today, but yeah. free fitness. <laughs> yeah, I can sit on my ass for a month when we come home to the third day. It's not even actually for the test that I went back, but... <sighs> Was it? I came up there and I just oh. had that feeling. So uh, yeah. Of course, ventilation is not working here, so I don't know what the deal is up there, but I came up there and I felt like, like <laughs> I feel like shit. Nope. And right now, even like when I was just down at the stairs straight out, I could feel <sighs> fresh air again. So, you know. It's a big tunnel system, I don't know if that's really what's the case or not, but I'd rather be safe than uh, that in a tunnel and blow it for Mm hmm. So, yeah, I was really like stuck my head up there and then, fuck it out. That's why I had to cough. That's yeah, good now, I'm not good. Yeah. So, I've got to keep that in mind, I'm not going to go too deep. Here you can actually feel, you feel the warm coming up. Mm -hmm. I said no doubt that uh, above there would be uh, the entrance to Maybe some. your hand reaches higher? Can reach above? Uh, yeah, I can have a look there. That's okay for your bed. Okay, no, never mind, let's go. <laughs> Here, I'll give you the camera again. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this bunker. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is really huge. <laughs> yeah. Some bunkers are a bit scary. Mm -hmm. uh, this one's really huge. This one is creepy. <laughs> yeah, this hallway is just endless. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Small entrance, you can see. Yeah. So my rough guess is that the main complex of this bunker would be like on top of the stairs there. So we would have these entrances coming in here on the sides, leading in one very long hallway with different doors that can close storages, etc. And the place where I couldn't really get any breath anymore. I think that's where like the main part of the complex starts. Really unfortunate. I really wanted to go there, but if I can't breathe, fuck no, I'm not gonna try. I don't know how that works with some oxygen, but it's like with your stove or something, you know? Within 10 seconds you can be dizzy and then you're laying on the floor, you know, fuck off. Don't want to risk that. And yeah, for this one, the same story. I'm pretty sure it will also lead to uh, an entrance the same as we saw over there. Yep, same story. Ah, this one is actually open, so. Let's go outside from this way. Turn your lights down low. And uh, actually a rack is here. It's bloody hot again. A lot of flies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take the main entrance to the car. I think we'll be uh, coming out to help on the mountain there. And we're done. Enough hiking through the heat today. I'll try to avoid that. Guys, nuclear bunker, as far as my oxygen level wanted to go, I really had a tough time breathing when we got up the stairs there. I don't know if that's really the case, but I don't want to take the risk. 
I'm not familiar with this location. Also with the Zeeva Air Base from one of our earlier episodes, it was really advised to not just go deeper in the tunnels because yeah, the ventilation systems don't work and you need ventilation to breathe. So we'll keep it safe. I hope you like this tour uh, in a nuclear bunker up here. Um, what we're gonna do next, Joe? I uh, hope uh, we come back safe from this road. <laughs> we got a funny road to drive, that's for sure. <laughs> the piece of shit to get there. And, um, but we'll find a way. I said, the van is nicely damaged, but it was well worth it. And that's pretty much the last days on this island here. We hope you enjoyed all the bunkers and some of the World War II stuff. There's just so much to discover here. And after this, tomorrow we got a small break. One day, not doing bunkers. Just editing. <laughs> I've got work to do to edit all these videos. Make a nice compilation for you guys so you can somehow still get a track of what we did up here. And then we're heading out to Mostar, Bosnia for one day. Because since I was a little kid I always wanted to see the bridge there. After that Dubrovnik, meet up with a fellow collector friend. And after that it's pretty unknown yet. We still got Austria, but between Austria, out of Hitler's eagle nest, there's still a gap which we will fill in. No clue what yet. But so far this trip has been full of surprises, so I've got no doubt it will be super cool again. So yeah, we call it a day. So that was it on Fish Island. Last episode we checked out that corner of the island and now on the last one we went to the middle under the clouds. Somewhere there is where the nuclear bunker is. And now we're getting ready for our next big trip. We're heading towards Mostar. That's in Bosnia-Herzegovina. It's a decent ride. I think it was like five hours and in reality with all the borders etc it's a lot longer because it's not in Europe so we have to check the passport things like that Mostar a city I always wanted to visit as you could see in the pictures because of the Yugoslavian war heavy fighting took place in that area terrible things happened also especially in Bosnia Herzegovina with genocide and uh, if you stay tuned in our episodes, we're definitely going to dedicate uh, a couple of our episodes towards that subject of the war and we will explain a little bit about it. For now, I hope you enjoyed this episode and see you next one.